sorry, this is called a trifold twist card. And you'll see I used some of that Bright's Designer Series paper on here. This is the Bermuda Bay. Um, and this is using the um, My Meadow stamp set, which is this little guy. This is in the mini catalog right now. Really, really fun and versatile set. So lots of ideas with this one. And this, like I said, is a trifold um, twist card. So here we go. So you see the front of it there. You open it up and you twist it out. And there's the middle. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And I love these colors. It's a really, really fun card. So it just folds back on itself just like that. Isn't that fun? Trifold twist card. Love it. All right. You want to learn how to make that one tonight? I hope so, because I'm going to show you. Let's just cut these at four by ten and a quarter. Let me get you going on the right road. So let's see. Just cut that off. I'll cut this guy off. So these are four by ten and a quarter. Okay. Now, when you go in, you're going to want to score both of these at, oops, we'll move that out of the way. Score both of these at five and a half. Alrighty, so just go in, give that a little score, set that one aside, and we'll do the same thing to this one. Five and a half. All right, now, as I said, <laughs> look at them. So these are both scored the same, that five and a half. So you're going to take one of them and you're going to flip it so that the center section, these two both measure the same. And these smaller sections are on the outside. Okay? Clear as mud? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Now, you're going to take these and you are going to bring in your little ruler and a pencil. And I'm going to start with the one with the small sec section here on the left-hand side. And I'm going to measure in to four inches. And I'm going to make a little mark right up here. Then I'm going to take the next one that has the small section on the right, and I'm going to measure in from the right-hand side. I'm going to measure in four inches on this one. Okay? With me? All right. Hi, Michael. Oh, Debbie and Linda. Now I can see comments. Oh, this is fun. I like having you guys here. <laughs> hello, hello. All right, so we have those two pieces. Remember, those large sections are the centers. These two on the outside, we measured four inches in from the edge of both, okay? Now we're gonna put these in our paper trimmer, and I'm just going to, on the track here, I'm gonna uh, line up this little mark that I made at four inches and the uh, bottom corner here on the right. Let's see, make sure I get you, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna bring my blade up and we're gonna score don't please lord have mercy i almost cut <laughs> put our score line there Whew, that was close and then i'll just erase that little tick mark there okie doke so we have scored here scored on an angle all right let's do the other one so i'm going to do the same thing i'll put the little tick mark there on the little track on my cutter oops help if I went the right way. And then I'm going to put the corner over here on the track also and give that a score like that. There we go. All right, so let me erase this guy. Okay, now we're gonna take our bone folder and we're going to burnish both of these. So we're going to fold it in. So this is going to be our left-hand side. And we'll bring this one down. Give that a little burnish right there. And we'll do the same thing with this guy. I'm going to bring this one in, burnish it. And then we'll fold this one down like so. Alrighty, so those are our left and right panels, just like that. All right, now, when you go to put your, when you go, what did I do? Did I fold it the wrong way? I folded it the wrong way, for Pete's sake. Shell suit. 
Wait, what did I do? Did I do that the wrong way? Holy guacamole, Michelle Stout. <laughs> oh, Sunday Night Live. What? With Michelle Stout? You wouldn't believe it. All right, so these guys are going to fit together just like this. Okay, so those folds come together in the middle. Now, when you go and put your right one inside on top of that left panel there, like so, you're going to want to close it up and see if they meet in the middle. If they don't, you're, it's okay, don't panic, because that just means this fold is a little bit in the way, and sometimes I have to trim off just a little teeny, teeny, tiny whisper of an edge right here to get that to fit in there, okay? But it looks like we're golden this time. So I'm going to bring this in and bring in some of my liquid glue. You can use whatever you would like. And I'm just going to put some of that liquid glue on this bottom panel. Like so. Now, we're going to bring in our right-hand panel, place it right here on top of that left-hand one, making the center section here, and the liquid glue will give you a little bit of wiggle time in case you get it a little too close. Oh, that looks good. That looks very good. All right, so that's looking good. So that's your card base, okay? Simple, easy peasy. Okay, now, I'm going to do this one since I already have the um, designer paper. I don't know. Would you guys like to see the mango medley? I think we should do the mango medley. I've been inside creating all day, and I am ready to do something different. Let's try some mango medley. So this is some of my bright <laughs> pattern paper, as you can see. Here's one of the script. Now, this one has that little, I don't know what that is. Reminds me of a Mor Moroccan print. Little script there. And then a piece of that gingham with the little argyle on the back. You see how gorgeous these colors are? This is like totally my jam here. So pretty. So these are all of our brights. All right, let's do it in Mango Medley. I'm a little tired of Bermuda tonight. All right, so. I want to make sure when I am using my um, script pattern, you can see on this one where I, when I close it, the script reads top to bottom and it's got that fold here, this triangle is on the left hand side. So you see how that opens so that it's the right side up? So what I want to do is I want to make sure when I'm cutting my script that I'm cutting it the right dimensions with the script going the right way, which means I'm going to use the um, script with the three and seven eighths inch at top. So we're going to cut that at three and seven eighths. Script's going this way by five and an eighth. So we'll bring that over here to five and an eighth. Now, for this piece to fit inside these little sections here, see how this is squared off at the top, but it comes down to a point. For that to fit into that, what we're going to do is bring in our little ruler and a pencil, and we're going to measure down from the top edge here, we're going to measure down just 5 eighths of an inch. So right about there. And we're going to do the same thing from the bottom on this side, five-eighths of an inch up right there. Okie doke. Five-eighths down, five-eighths up. And you'll see that on your little cheat sheet. When you look at the tutorial online, you'll see I marked them right here for you. And this is the designer paper down here. So this is our three and seven-eighths by five-eighths of an inch piece. Mark down five-eighths, up five-eighths. All right, so we'll take our designer paper. We're going to put it back into our trimmer, down that little... Um, gully there in the middle and I'm going to um, just line up those little tick marks top and bottom. Put that down. Give it a little trim. So there are our pieces of script paper and you can see the squared sections on there. Okay. So we'll set those aside. Now for the piece that's going to go on the um, the 
where did I put it here? On the, the two triangles. This I'm using the gingham for this, and as I said, this is the mango medley. This piece is gonna measure three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So I'm just gonna cut that little guy off. I love this card because it's a fun fold, but it's really just interesting. It really is just really cool. Okay, so you can see on the designer series paper little diagram here, I showed that you cut from the bottom left up to the upper right corner, okay? You wanna make sure when you're looking at the pattern on your paper that if it's directional, pay attention so you know you're gonna cut it in the correct, the correct way, okay? So put those two points in that little cutting groove. Cut it in half diagonally, just like that, okay? All right, so we'll put these guys aside. Now, I'm gonna need a piece for the inside of my card. This Whisper White, this one was a little wonky. I don't remember what the, I remember looking when I did it. It's five and a quarter. I think this is three and three quarters. Oh, I was right. So this piece is three and three fourths by five and a quarter. A little different than the normal size that we do um, for regular card bases, or card inserts rather. So let me cut one of these guys down. So three and three fourths by five and a fourth. Oh, already there. Okay, so there's the piece for inset. Now we can start putting this puppy together. All right, so we have our um, card base here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my pieces for these outer sections first, which are going to be our script. Okay, so here's the way it reads up and down, which means I'm gonna turn it so that that left side is going to be up, like so. So let's bring this guy in with some liquid glue. I love this color. Honestly, I use more of the brights than any other, any other colors. They're just so happy, especially right about now in the springtime. All right, let's move this guy over. Put this down. You're gonna leave just that little bit of a border like we normally do on our regular cards. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. Fold that up. And we'll do this one down at the bottom. So, it's a great time to order Stampin' Up! stuff, you know, because it comes straight to your door. <laughs> You don't have to go shopping anywhere. You can order online. Love it. In fact, I placed an order today. So many things, so little time. There we go. All right. So that one's going to go right there. Oh, I just saw, I just saw your comment. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. I know, aren't they awesome? All right. So there we go. Got these guys down. Now, remember, don't glue these down. <laughs> I had a lady yesterday who was thinking, I should glue these down. Like, no, 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 that's the twist mechanism. Don't do it. All right, so now our gingham is going to go right here on these two little panels, our little triangles. There we go. Oop, I have glue on there. Go away. So I'm just going to glue this guy up here in the little upper get that straight and then bring in the last piece oops bring in that last piece and put some liquid glue in there like so I don't know what you guys have been doing today but guess what Lindsay found out that Frozen 2 came out early on Disney Plus. So guess what we watched today? <laughs> you got it. Now I'm singing all the new songs. All right. So there we go. Oops, wrong way. Oops, that was right. So you see how when we put the gingham on, if you turn it this way, you can see our text reads the correct way. Okay? All right. Now... For our inside panel, whoops, I got a little bit of glue in there. Somehow I managed to do that. Who knows? Okay, so we're going to do our inside panel. 
So you're going to use that three and a quarter by three and three quarter by five and a quarter piece of Whisper White, and we're going to bring in our stamps from the My Meadow. Now this one um, we're going to be using the wheelbarrow base, the little bucket top here. We're going to use the leaves and the flowers. So let's bring these guys in. So here's our little wheelbarrow. Here's the little bucket. Um, some little flowers and green leaves. All right, now on the inside of mine, I did Thinking of You and I did My Friend. Now these are from, I should have left them out for you. These are from Itty Bitty Greetings. Let's see which one it was in. Itty Bitty Greetings is an awesome set. It's a two piece, two piece set. And really, really easy to use. This one says, hey friend, and then the other says, thinking of you. There we go. Set those aside. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my greeting first because if there's something I'm gonna mess up, it'll be the greeting. <laughs> let's just be honest. <laughs> and I'm gonna bring in, let's see, I should get some, let me get some mango. Mango Melody. I'm going to use a little bit of Mango Melody and do our little thinking of you. Give it a little ink. Let me stamp it here and make sure it's straight on my block. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty darn good. All right. Wish me luck. On camera. Where did I do it on mine? Did I do it in the top? Oh, I did it in the middle. There we go. I'm going to do it here. Yay! Who's happy? Me. There we go. All right, now let's do our wheelbarrow. Now, for the wheelbarrow, I just wanted it to be a little defined with the wheels and the handle being a different color than the little bucket. So this piece down here, this is done out of gray granite because it has a little more brown in it. And then the bucket part here is gonna be done with smoky slate. Okie doke. So let's do this little guy. So here's our gray granite. I'm gonna bring in that little bucket piece. This one's got a little fuzzy on it. All right, a little bucket and or a little wheel down here. Right about there. Okay. Now let's bring in the bucket and some smoky slate. There we go. Bring that little guy down right about there. Like so. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna put some flowers in there and some leaves. So I'm gonna bring in some pumpkin pie for our little flowers. Oops, that's leaves. Where are my flowers? Here we are. Here are my flowers. So I did my flowers twice. And this isn't something that you have to line up perfectly because they're kind of abstract. So you can do them a couple different times. How stinking cute is that? All right. Now, let's bring in... Oh, thanks, Michael. Yeah, my assistant, Debbie Colby, got me these really cool little Tinkerbell stickers. Um, so I know they're my blocks, <laughs> and they stay really, really well. And then I have some on ink pads, but sometimes I just put little Mickey heads on there so I know they're mine, because usually I'm the only one with Mickey heads on stuff, right? All right, let's bring in some Granny Apple Green in our leaves. And this, again, doesn't have to be anywhere perfect, perfectly lined up. Just stamp. And then I stamped again. Let's see, right about there. Yay! All right, so there's the inside of our card. How fun, huh? All right, let's put some adhesive on the back. We'll use some liquid glue, because my snail is downstairs. But 
all the class stuff stacked on the table because I could. <laughs> there we go. All right, so there's the inside of our card. Oh my gosh, how much is that? Mango Melody just yell screen. Woot! Love it. All right, so here's the front of our card. We're almost done. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to use the um, Stitched Shapes Framelits. I always say that. It's like, I can't say it quickly. Stitched Shapes Framelits, which are one of my favorites. You know, they have the circles, the ovals, and the squares. And when you use um, the squares on this one, I actually use the two outer ones here. So we're going to need this one because I'm going to have to cut another large square. But the second one here is what I used for the um, part we're going to stamp on. There we go. So let's go ahead and stamp and then I will cut. So we're going to do the same thing we just did, but we're going to do it on here. I wish to do my hay friend first. This one with some mango. Let's see. Oh, not bad. All right. Do my hay friend up here. <laughs> A little crooked. Oh, well. Dun, dun, dun. It only works if you hold the block straight. Why? Oh, it's wiggly. There we go. Okay, for better, for worse. That's not bad. That's not bad. Hopefully whoever gets a card will really love me, right? They don't care. <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. Thanks, Linda. You guys are so sweet. I'm so happy to see you guys here tonight. You have no idea. I've missed you. I mean, my family's good now, but it's nice to see other friends, right? Okay, let's see. Where did my... Here's my gray granite. So my gray granite's going to go again on the... Let me wipe this one off. I got a little overzealous with the ink on that one. There we go. So we'll bring in our gray granite for the wheel. And we will do it right down here. I always have to think, how do they sit? Do they sit just like that? Like that. And then I will bring it back my smoky slate. Now you could have done this all together when you were had your inks out before, but I was just kind of showing you step by step. Got a little bit of ink on that edge too. Nice. All right, now the little bucket and smoky slate will go right about there. Oh, missed it a little. I wonder if I can make it straighter. Do 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 do. Okay, this is me being totally real. <laughs> Oh, I did it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Woohoo. All right. Let's bring in our pumpkin pie again for some flowers. Little blooms. Put these guys in here a couple of times. There we go. And then we'll bring our leaves back in with some granny apple green. Gosh, I love this green. It is one of my faves. This is out a lot on my table, actually. Let's see, I'll do some here. Oops, a little too high with my friend, but that's okay. There we go. All right, so we have that. Now let's do our mango square. Now for this one, we're gonna need a magnetic platform and two clear plates. There we go. All right. Yep, works. Woo, thank you, Lord. All right. This little guy just pops right out. Cutie patootie. Put this one there. Now this one we're gonna really pay attention to when you adhere it. Ask me how I know. <laughs> 
it's going to go here on the front. Now you're going to want to match these two corners of your square with that fold. See that? You're only going to put adhesive on the left side, not the whole thing. So I'm going to make myself a little diagonal to remind me. Put some on here. Like that. And then, oh shoot, I smeared it. That's okay. That's what an adhesive eraser's for. There we go. Like that. And then I will bring in. Oh, we're getting a new one, Charlene. We are getting a new one, and we are very excited. We've heard it is coming soon, so it is going to be a half, half, happy day. And I know some of you were asking, you know, okay, why'd you guys do away with the big shot and all that? Well, the big shot was something that we partnered with Sizzix for, and we no longer have a contract with them, so we are um, designing. Oh, dark on it. Oh, no, I did it right. Whoop. Um, we're designing our own. So, and I have heard that it has an electric option. That's the word on the street. All right, so there's that. Let me get my little eraser. Where was it? Oh, here. It's nice when you have to say, where was it? Because it's not that bad. There we go. Get that little guy off of there. Get that glue off of there. Now, the best part is adding a little bit of bling. And we are going to use... Oops, come here. We're going to use some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful glimmer enamel. Look at these guys. Ooh, ooh. See these? I'm going to use these granny apple green ones. Yeah. Stinking cute. They come in the um, Coastal Cabana, the granny apple green, melon mambo, and gorgeous grape. Really cute. All right. So let's see. Where is my paper piercer? It was here. I probably buried it. Oh, well, no worries. So we might take your pick. Pick up a couple of these little guys here. Oop, popped it over there. Is that it? <laughs> Where did it go? There we go. So I'm just going to put a little bit of bling up here in the left top. And a little bit down in the right lower corner. I like that. Isn't that fun? Oh my smurf. I love it. Cute. Like that. Oh, there it is. I knew I'd have it. All right. So it's going to be just like that. And here's the one I'll bring back in. Oh, turn it. I see Deb. I see what you're saying, Deb. I turned it the opposite way, didn't I? Ha ha ha. Oh, well, here's what it's supposed to look like. Debbie, you were supposed to yell. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> it's supposed to look like this. I'll turn it around. No worries. So it's going to be like this. When you turn it, it opens with the thinking of you there in the middle. All right? That's how it works. So your text is going this way. Lordy, lordy. If only I were 40. All right. That is your card for tonight. And as I said, your trifold twist card um, tutorial will be in the comments here at the bottom after I'm done. And then it's going to be with the YouTube video over on my Subly Stamped YouTube channel. Okay, if you haven't been over there, check it out. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my um, Instagram, Subly Stamped Instagram. I post projects over there also. Um, now, remember the um, March class to go. The deadline to sign up for that is the 20th, so that's this coming week, so you're not going to want to miss it. Remember, the projects are six projects, and all of those options will be listed for you on the blog, suitablystamp.com. You can check it out there, and then make sure you get yours in by the deadline to make sure you're going to get the kits for all of the projects. These will be great. Don't even have to leave your house. 
Okay, if you need any supplies, go to my online store at suitablystamped.stampinup.net and use this month's host code. All right. All right, you guys, please stay safe. Um, hang out and make sure you subscribe here so when I pop on, because I'm missing you something terrible, um, you'll get a notification that I'm live, okay? Um, thanks for all of you who shared. And again, if you're watching this on replay, please type replay so I know you were here. All right, love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Talk to you later. Bye.